Hello everyone. Today I want to show you a small yet very powerful command in assembly that I have not covered in my large assembly video for SOLIDWORKS and that is this guy here, Smart Fasteners, which is going to add fasteners, which is basically bolts and knots and washers and stuff like that, if your assembly, as you can see, has holes, a series or patterns of holes. Okay, so if you want to attach two parts together that have holes and you want to find what kind of uh, bolt, what kind of knot and washer to use, instead of bringing them, uh, instead of designing them or uh, configuring them from the uh, toolbox in SOLIDWORKS and then bringing them and one by one assembling them, this command is going to do that job very fast and very effective. So let's say here, for example, I have made a flange, right? So I bring this uh, flange here and bring this flange right here. And then I add one more flange. And let's say I want to what here. And let's say I want to uh, attach these two flange together and use the bolts to connect them. So first I apply the mates that are necessary to put them in the proper position. Right, so I make these two faces coincident, of course, in the uh, opposite direction of normal vectors. Then I make these two pipes concentric as well. And then here I make the holes, right, also concentric. So now the holes are in front of each other, okay, as you can see. So now it is ready to be what? Ready to be bolted together. Now you know in reality there is actually a... Uh, casket or something here between the flanges too, right? You just don't leave metal on metal connection. You also have something in between here. But for here, for simplicity, we just neglected that. But again, know that in reality, you have to put a sealing material in between them. But now let's say I want to know what kind of bolt I need to use. And the important thing here is if you look, when I made the flange, I used the hole command. I did not use the cut extrude. I used the hole command and I made sure that I'm using a standard hole, okay? So you see here, it's a quarter inch standard hole and that's where the uh, assembly commands like small uh, smart fastener can easily find what? Something from the toolbox. The other thing is your toolbox has to be activated. So if your toolbox is not activated, you click on it and say add in SOLIDWORKS. So now the toolbox is activated. The ANSI inch, which I made the holes based on that, is available. And this guy has what? It has bolts, it has knots, it has uh, washers and everything, right? So all I need to do, again, I don't need to grab any part from here. This guy will do the job for me. I say, hey. I want you to add fasteners for this surface and say add. And look, it immediately added what for me? It immediately added six hex bolts, as you can see, right? Now, the length of these hex bolts, uh, the sh shank of them is short, but when you add a washer or when you add a knot, it is going to auto, as you can see here, auto update length. So this automatically will change the length of these bolts. As you can see, these bolts are called socket head cap screws. And, <clears throat> excuse me, they are number 1032, which is a quarter inch in diameter. The length of them is half an inch. They are hegs. The thread length is half and simplified, right? So you can have cosmetic, right? If you have it cosmetic, then now you can see the cosmetic threads as well. And uh, now, let's say I want to add some washers here and then some knots on the other side. So I can add something on the top of the stack or the bottom of the stack. So I go to the top of the stack and say, hey, I want somewhat some uh, washer and there are different types of washer. So let's say I use the heavy duty spring lock washer and it is going to add it to all of them. As you can see right here, yes, that's the good thing. That's the powerful thing that it does add it to each and every one of them, as you can see. And then what? At the bottom, I'm going to add the hex knots, right? So there are all sorts of knots here. But here, I'm going to add the hex knot. And as you're going to see, it is going to add them to this other side, right? You can clearly see that here. 
that the hex knots are all added to this side and as you can see now the length of the uh, shanks are automatically increased so that it can uh, take care of the knot as well so that's beautiful everything I wanted is taken care of and I got six of these everything is there so when I create my bill of material these guys will easily show in the bill of material right so here you see it's all done you okay that and there we go and now later as I said if you go and create a bill of material here right and let's say just the parts only for now and uh, if we okay that so here we go look you see I have a flange I have two of that I have these hex screws six of that I have heavy lock washer six of that and I have hex knots with that uh, part number also what six of that so you see clearly this is easily going to uh, basically uh, give me everything that I need and the small fastener will basically provide all of the fasteners in a single command so hopefully this was useful to you and I'll see you in the next lecture thank you